I always feel at home when I'm at Georgetown. I take pride in Georgetown and what it stands for and what it's trying to do in the world. It's an honor to work and team up with people who are dedicated and committed to the university. Georgetown has changed the trajectory of my life. At Georgetown, I learned how to imagine the art of the possible. There's no question in my mind that I left Georgetown a much better person than when I got here. I felt like Georgetown's always said they love me back. When I walked through the gates at Georgetown for the first time, uh, I knew this is where I wanted to be. And, and now I couldn't possibly imagine having gone anywhere else. The things I learned without question made me a better person. I remember move-in day like it was yesterday. I joined the Chimes about a month in. By October of my freshman year, I was standing around a keg at Yates singing with alumni. So I got a glimpse of why people would remain involved. I remember being in Gaston Hall and being introduced to all of the new student orientation staff members. They spent the summer planning for us all to arrive and that made a huge impression on me. I wanted to be a leader in a way that I hadn't been inspired to be before. The entire impact of the Jesuit education, I was able to apply those things to my professional career. It wasn't just going and doing debits and credits. It was about leading a good life, treating people fairly. At Georgetown, I met my husband. I met an incredible group of friends. But most importantly, I think I gained a set of legal skills that has facilitated an incredible career. That is really a gift that I would not have been able to have had I not had this incredible network of people here. We had a substantial number of African-American law students. And we had African-American mentors here in the form of then Dean of Admissions, Dave Wilmot, who was largely responsible for us being at Georgetown and us now being the successful lawyers today that we are. My daughter's a student here now. It is a place where I think you can really grow into your authentic self, and I see that happening with her. I felt honored that as a non-alum, I was embraced by such a great university. I was treated as a friend of Georgetown. It was a campus that really was interested in being connected. I was involved with the Board of Governors from about 2005 and eventually serving as president-elect and then president of the association. And it was an amazing perch, really, to see how much goes on at the university community. I'm certain I've made as many or more friends in the last 35 years as an alumnus than I did as a student. I've had the privilege to be a class volunteer, a regional club president, and a governor, and now a senator, actually. Here in Chicago, we have such an extraordinary group of alumni of every generation, of every school, every stripe. You know that you're gonna see some friends and people that feel like family every time you show up at one of our events. And we work really hard to grow and maintain it and to welcome all the newest alumni when they arrive in town as well. Georgetown is one degree. Because Georgetown was so good to me and I thought had such a major impact on my life, that's kind of why I stayed involved. The Georgetown Scholarship Program at Georgetown is phenomenal. I mentor three students in there. But you're given kids who, who have the ability, but maybe don't have the background, the support system, the money. You're giving them a chance for success. We are more than just a scholarship. It's been a true joy to be involved in the Georgetown Scholarship Program and to be part of something that has been nationally recognized as being best in class in the country. Congratulations to newly admitted students. We've now created a very significant endowment for the program. The programmatic side continues to develop and grow. These students come here and they evolve into incredible young men and women. After I graduated from the Law Center, then Dean Areen approached me and got me as well as others involved in endowing an African American scholarship. I've invested myself into the African American Alumni Advisory Board because I think it is critically important for us to make sure we have a voice. The GU 272 Reconciliation Remembrance Project is another just emboldening process that allows us all to have a vehicle to be involved. 
I'm a big proponent of research because I think research dollars are the hardest ones to fund and the most important ones to spend. John and I have funded a chair for Phil Schrag, who is actually a professor of mine while I was at Georgetown Law. But we've also invested in the Institute for Women, Peace and Security through Milan Vivere. But I believe in empowering women and girls around the world. I wanted to make a difference in the lives of students. In 2005, the Engelhard classes began here at Georgetown. The subject was really engaging the whole person. It was so perfect here at Georgetown because it's the idea of cura personalis and that they're being seen as individuals and not just academic performers. I've heard it described as the heartbeat of Georgetown and that's a beautiful thing. We're very excited to have John Carroll Weekend come back to Boston. I was thrilled when I heard that I was gonna win the John Carroll Award. When I was a student, we went up in 1983 to Boston to sing at the John Carroll Awards. So many people who I've really admired have been awarded the John Carroll Award. To be in their company is wonderful. And I'm so honored that the university has recognized me, but I feel like the real reward is my connection to Georgetown. It's really a lifetime achievement that I did not think I would be receiving. I am at a loss of words and just proud that the university felt that I was worthy. Having the distinct honor of being recognized as a John Carroll Award winner, it signs you up for a lifetime of service to Georgetown, and I'm glad to do it. Winning the Patrick Healy Award is one of the greatest moments of my life. I am so very grateful and honored. <laughs>